Rock solid support for royalty. Yes. Uh, and this is an odd story for me to be talking about because I, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm not a monarchist. I'm an American and we don't believe in that stuff. And, uh, and I, I don't really have a sense of how the country is doing. But this, the headline says Britain's rock solid support for the royals. Yeah. Which says that most people support the royals, but at the same time, it was a study done by Lord Ashcroft, who was the Conservative Party donor. Yes, he was, yeah. and he has been a, a, a significant figure within the Tory party. Fight. He's a, he's a, he is a, a pollster and a, a, an opinion, a wind sniffer. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know whether that has anything to do with the outcome of this thing, but it says that people generally like the royal family. They don't like Charles very much. But the most important thing that I got from this is that 67 percent agreed that the royal family should be scaled down its, and its costs significantly reduced, which isn't really that positive for the royal family. They should be scaled down to the tune of one prince, I imagine, in particular. They yeah, well, we don't know how low it would go, you know, and, and these are even 58 percent of the people who are gung-ho pro mo pro uh, uh, monarchy voting. And one more thing, which I found very, very interesting, is that basically 39 percent work could be divided into committed royalists and mainstream monarchists. So the monarchists are 39 percent and the people who are against it are 37 percent. OK, that's quite okay. tight. I've seen figures today, Nick, that said um, this was a YouGov poll, actually. It was about a month ago it came out, but it said 55 percent in favour about a half, about 25% had had no strong opinion, and less than 25% uh, were actually anti. I don't know. What do you? What, what, what's well, we've got you. To? We've got used to questioning you, Gov, from the COVID era. So I'll just yeah. put that there. I mean, not okay. trying to avoid libel, but quest, always question. But yeah, it's, it depends how the questions phrase. And the other day there was a poll about young people who are against the monarchy, and that was in a different paper. But now this is we're pro the monarchy. But they phrase the question as. Um, the monarchy might sound strange in this day and age, but it works. I mean, that's quite a loaded sided question, isn't it? I'm yeah. sure this does represent the, the country, though. I'm sure most people are broadly in favour of it. Um, One person said that they, they need to modernise. I'm like, how much more could they modernise? They're already, Charles is already super woke. Then, then it, would be, it would be a mistake to modernise in exactly the same way that it's been a mistake, in your view, I know, for the Church of England to modernise. It does nobody any favours. All you, all you do is end up looking weak as if you're desperate yeah. for uh, support and, and, and popularity. Yeah, well, this is what's happened with, with our current King. He's, he's, he's appealed to the, he should appeal to the Greens, but he doesn't really because they're Republicans. Then he, then he should appeal to Conservatives as a monarch, but he doesn't because he's too woke. I feel very sorry for Charles. I mean, obviously that sounds ridiculous, but in, in this particular situation he's in, he has basically been as much a part of my life. My into, I'm 58 next week. I, he has been a part of my life, my entire life, every yeah. bit as much as the Queen has. Probably more vocal, more high profile in terms of his... I know all about his views. He has had an entire public career... He's been up, he's been down, he's been through the bumps. He's had a bad marriage and then a good marriage. He's had kids, he's had all kinds of... You know, he's had the entire career. And now, at the age he's at now, he's expected this, the job starts. Yeah. I mean, it's completely absurd, isn't it? You well, can't I think, take it on at this point. I think the job starts. The people... This is my impression as an American. People, people in this country hate strivers. It's not America. America likes somebody who says, I want to be president. And... They hate the idea that, that a king wants to be king. And oh, yeah, he, he said he that. He wanted to be king his entire life, and yeah. that's why they don't like him. What well, can I say one thing, though? The, what you've just yeah. described about Charles also applies to Lewis taking on this job. So <laughs> right at the end of his life, he's here, so it can happen. Within yeah. What is the telegraph running?